What's up, everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And today I'm going to show you a new enclosure that we're making for a brand new 3D printer on the market, the Anycubic Cobra S1, along with the Ace Pro. Check this out, guys. So here is the newest enclosure from Clearview Plastics, and it is designed to tailor fit and work with the Anycubic Cobra S1, as well as the Anycubic Ace Pro uh, multi-material unit as well. So uh, first off is just like with all of our other enclosures, the main idea with enclosing this 3D printer is to isolate fumes and particulate that happen with the 3D printing process for a healthier uh, work environment and, and living space that you're 3D printing in. Uh, but also it's also good for creating a better printing environment to get better printing uh, results from your 3D printer. And lastly, it's also beneficial to uh, reduce noise around uh, your 3D print station as well, just in case you're using it in a place that uh, that, that you're sensitive to noise. So uh, overall, the fitment on this is designed to be tailor fit around this printer and to work with the workflow of this printer. So as you can see, we've got our Anycubic Ace Pro up on top. And uh, just a note for sizing, we've got 22 inches wide, 24 inches deep, 24 inches tall. Then we're also going to have a second option that will allow you to fit the Ace Pro inside that will be 31 and a half inches tall as well. And uh, as you can see here, we've got a side access door so that you can fit, uh, so that you can uh, get behind the printer. And so you get, we got a little poop bucket there and uh, a spare roll of filament back there. Uh, so you can have access to all that pretty easily. And then on the front door here, we've got what is called our frameless front door design. And so of course we have the front door, but then we also have a top latch that also opens. And that makes it so that you have access to work on the printer and the print head in case you ever get a clog or if you need to do some maintenance on the printer as well. And now that we actually have it open, you can kind of hear some of the sounds that the 3D printer is making. And so this isn't the quietest printer out there, especially in some of the, the harsh movements, you get quite a lot of noise. And so this enclosure really helps to dampen that down. If we travel on over here to the other side and to the back, you'll see that we have one of our exhaust filters uh, attached to the back here. So this is our HEPA filter with uh, charcoal impregnation. So that's exhausting out. This is a good option for this enclosure because it ensures that the temperatures inside the enclosure don't get too high. So you don't, uh, so that you don't uh, potentially damage like electronics or anything like that. And, um, and so basically the uh, inside the enclosure, you can keep things so that they're right around room temperature or just a little bit above for some nice print results. And for the, for the ACE unit, um, we are waiting on a part to hook up the ACE to this printer. This came with our Anycubic Pro, uh, Cobra 3 Pro. So there's a spare, there's a spare piece uh, that you guys have if you got the combo uh, that has the uh, filament sensor and the, uh, the buffer. Uh, but basically the idea here is you can run your cables down through this port on the back, along with all the Bowden tube, to easily feed all of your uh, filaments down into the printer. Very easy to set up. And then, uh, like I had mentioned, the other option here is then we can also do the taller version at 31 and a half inches so that you can fit your uh, Ace Pro right on top of the printer, just as uh, it was kind of originally designed to do. So uh, a couple other uh, things to note, this uh, enclosure is sporting our one quarter inch acrylic panels. Um, and uh, so that gives it a little bit more of a burly build and uh, it gives it a nice professional feel. Um, when you order this enclosure, uh, basically there's three sets of uh, items that you uh, will go through. First is the panel type. So the uh, base version, will include one eighth inch panels, which is a little thinner. And then, like I said, this is one quarter inch panels. Uh, and then you'll pick the printed parts. The printed parts kit uh, includes the magnetic latches, 
includes the corner brackets um, and includes uh, the um, uh, if the any of the ports uh, for printed parts. Usually it takes about one to two rolls worth of uh, filament to complete all the printed parts. And then uh, we also have a section for filters, uh, which we have this exhausting filter. Like I said, this is uh, suggested for this particular enclosure rather than our recirculating filter, which keeps the heat in. Uh, and then we also have an intake filter, which would be placed down on the side down here if that option is uh, included. And that's a nice option to ensure that the enclosure gets clean air if you are uh, printing in like a dusty environment, like a workshop. And then last off, we just do a couple other accessories like our heavy duty hardware upgrades. Uh, we do lighting, uh, LED lighting that's fitted for this enclosure. Um, and uh, we do a base panel if you're looking to seal your enclosure a little bit more. And uh, so you can view all this at our website at clearviewplastic.com. Okay, so that is our newest enclosure for the Anycubic Cobra S1 along with the Ace Pro. And if you haven't heard of Clearview before, we actually make a wide variety of enclosures for several 3D printers, along with other uh, desktop machinery like laser engravers. And we have even done some custom work uh, for other machines as well. So uh, if you wanna learn more about the enclosures that we make uh, and see some other uh, options that we have, head on over to our website. It's clearviewplastic.com. And if you have any questions, we've got an awesome chat client right there that uh, you can ask us questions on or pop us an email. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much, guys.